Welcome to Number Free Cameras. Today we're going to discuss how to access your cameras remotely, like if you're on vacation. And the first method mm -hmm. is the Z-Viewer app. It's, yeah. It's a free app, works on your iPhone. And yeah, Mama took the phone with her. Yes. There are a lot of buttons, but they don't really do anything unless you have pan, tilt, zoom cameras. You can take a photo and you can switch channels. Yeah. And you can only go three or one. It's a pretty not responsive six or app. 10. When you turn it sideways, you know, you get that cool quad view. Um, I think it'd be great for leaving on in the kitchen on an iPad or something so you can see who's at the door. Yeah. I couldn't find a way to play back the DVR footage through this app. And the configuration is very uh, traditional. And all that guys can break into your house. You better get these. If you don't, um, you might get in trouble. Big oh, trouble. Okay. Configuration may be too much for most people. You gotta know how to assign a fixed IP. You gotta get familiar with DNS and the internet and punch a hole in this the router. This iPad is slow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it really gives me a bad gut feel about security. You're exposing your DVR to the entire internet with an internet facing IP so that anybody in the world can get to it on a known port. And while it's true that there's probably not an elite team of Russian hackers looking to get a view of your backyard, that firmware might eventually have some vulnerability that a script starts scanning the internet for and, you know, then you'd be in trouble. Second is the Z-Side app. The Z-Side app is super easy to set up. You just install it on your iPad, you can create an account and do everything from there and you'll be viewing live video in minutes. You know, the setup is easy, but the rest of the app is kind of clunky. As you can see here, it's got some basic functionality. You can uh, change the quality. You'll see that get better in a second. There it goes. And you can, you know, take screenshots, you can take video. It, it, and it actually, you can go back and view the uh, DVR stored data, although it, none of it works really well. It's all slow and clunky. Like, watch this. See that, that loading wheel in the middle? It just sits there and goes. And you can see it updates eventually, but I can never actually get it to play back. It just seems like it's just sitting there perpetually loading. You aren't exposing your network to the world, but you do have this mysterious third party up there that who knows where your data is going. You know, I'm sure it's all spelled out in some agree not a party. agreement. I didn't read. Yeah, well, it's not really a party. It's just, it's a it's a thing, you know, and you can see right here how long that's taken to load because it's pulling through that other server. Good also, surprise. some this site, this MeShare site, you can log in there with the same account. Notice how much faster it is than the iPad, but like, you I'm know, MeShare, Zmodo, ZViewer, it's a, you know, that's there's right. a spelling error. The whole thing just reeks of lowest bid outsourced development. Why do you circle that? I call that? the software slow and sloppy, and so I don't have a gut, gut feel about it. Now, finally, the, the one that I use is a remote desktop over a random port. You get access to, you know, just as if you're sitting at the desktop, all your Zmodo cameras, all your non-Zmodo cameras, of course, I'm assuming you're using the Blue Iris software. Highly recommend Blue Iris software. There it is. Anyway, and you gotta 50. set this little setting. Yeah, yeah. What, what? Look, 50. Oh, okay. What do you think of the security camera stuff? Yes. If a backer breaks in your house, get one of these cameras. And... <laughs> then what'll happen? No back... If, if, if there is a problem with security cameras, just fix it. And that, that crazy cat. Yeah, there's that cat. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, here we are just playing back, you know, stuff. You can see it's very responsive. It works on a tablet. This is a Surface. It, of course, works on a PC. I think Mac has a remote desktop client, yeah. too. You know, you do expose it on the internet, but you got a firewall and you get continuous security updates from Windows. So, and it's the same technology that big companies use to connect to their servers and Microsoft uses to let customers connect to Azure virtual machines. So I feel like RDP on a random port is probably the most, uh, uh, secure. Again, I'm not an expert, you know, total disclaimer here. I'm just a hobbyist. Um, go ahead and see you next time for another video Good. on Amazon Prime. No, it's YouTube. You on YouTube. Share yeah. channels where we make movies and Thomas movies. And see, also, we can make a film. This is the last movie. It's called Thomas and the Magic Movie.